Hi guys, welcome back to some more Factorio. Uh, so, we're a little bit ahead. Not gonna lie. Um, so, you remember how... Um, so, this is where I left off last time. So, we're at a 3246 here. And now we're at 37. Uh, so, it's like about four and a half hours later. Uh, and I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna be like, fuck, why, weren't, why wasn't there an episode in between that? Well, I mean, as I said, I did this on stream before, and this is, uh, I've left off at about the point at which I had nuclear power, because I, I realized that I would have to build a bunch of ba bases for resources, because that's what's kind of required. So, the first one I did was here, I, as I promised, I did get the iron ores here, so I actually have a train already going to that, so I just kind of made the base, don't worry, there's, there's going to be some building. I also got the coal in there, although I don't think we're going to need it, because this coal has lasted me forever. Um, so we went up here, I got that, okay, and I, this is where the base I left off at. Why am I going up? Well, I went to the oil. Um, by the way, shit like this is why I think my Discord server looks like Hitler's Youth, honestly. Uh, I don't know why I do this to myself, but yeah, whatever. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll change it to a more, a more friendly thing. Let's, let's change it to something positive. Like, uh, clocks. There you go. Whoops, fuck. Whatever. I, I'll just delete it. Alright, um, so... The minute I was up here and I planted the radars, because, you know, I was, like, trying to just secure the oil, right, for, you know, the next time, and I figured I'd make a base here with you guys and all that kind of stuff. The minute I secured it, uh, and I got the uranium, too, um, I scanned the radars, and there was 7.7 7, uh, million iron ore, 3.1 million iron ore, 10 million in total, and then there's a bit of oil here, apparently, too, but, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't think I care. I mean, maybe I care a little bit. Okay, maybe, maybe I care just slightly. No, I really don't, actually. Fuck it. Alright. So I did that. So what else is nearby? So up here, 3.6 million ore. Coal, 5 million. Uh, 1.9 million. Uh, the thing. There's another oil thing here, but it's not as big as this one. It's probably along the levels of what I started with. Uh, some copper. Uh, just some shit-ass uranium patches. Coal. Uh, iron. Found some more stone in there somewhere. Uh, oh, an 8 million, uh, iron ore patch there. So, yeah, not so bad, not too, not too shabby. A crappy iron ore patch I decided not to grab. Uh, oh, yeah, 3.7 million stone patch. That's, that's nice, too. So, uh, not, not too shabby. Uh, nothing too much along this way. There's just too, uh, a lot of, well, there's a lot of copper ore, so I, I, I should say that. And a lot of iron, so I can get that. So here's what I've done, uh, in the meantime. So... I've extended the rail lines, I've added more stops, because look at this, look how much our stop right now. I, uh, by the way, I've only really put a train into this one, and this one here. There's no trains anywhere else. I've started this one, but I, it just, I, I kind of just made it, and I didn't make any trains go to it. That's the first thing. I uh, didn't do anything with oil, and I've kind of like not finished this one. I figure I can kind of do that on camera for you guys. I've also tapped into the stone patch here. Because guess what? The stone over here is completely almost out. Uh, because we've been doing we've been doing research this whole time. And what research has we been doing? Um, I think I did one more mining efficiency uh, productivity one. Um, I did uh, automation three, which gives us assembly machines three, which we're going to... I don't know if we're going to start building those now. Maybe we should start building those now. It's actually not a bad idea. So we can start making assembly machines three... Uh, we did call liquefaction. We also have logistics three, which is express transfer belts, which is uh, uh, I think it's twice as fast or something like that. Maybe three times as fast as the yellow belts. Very important to get these. Um, the amount of resources these require is an insane, but yeah, we've done that. Uh, and I'm right now on power armor, so I think I, like there's absolutely no more damage upgrades I can possibly get except for, with uh, high tech science. Uh, so I think I was just doing, as I said, a bunch of random useless stuff. I don't think I got anything that was really too, uh, like, like crazy great. Uh, I'm just trying to look here. Yeah, I just, did, I did the lab researches up to lab, uh, five, which requires productivity research. Uh, and I was started on mining productivity three, but, uh, five, six, sorry. But look at the requirements of this, it's just insane, so. Figure we can start on some other stuff. Oh, yeah, I was gonna do productivity modules as well. But anyways, this is kind of how my death worlds kind of always work out, which is like, you eventually get to the point where you just need more resources. That's just how it goes. So, anyways, uh, enough of that. Let's go do express stuff, because we actually really need this. 
Um, more than you think, actually. So this one actually takes in lubricant. Um, that's kind of an interesting fact. Guess what? We have lubricant right here. Huh. It's almost like this was planned. Huh. Wow. Wow, it actually even lines up perfectly. What the fuck? Am I a genius or what? So that's how you get lubricant. So lubricant is used for both of these. I don't think lubricant really goes into anything else. Uh, so this needs gears, uh, tra uh, fast underground belts, and lubricant. Uh, this needs gears, lubricant, fast transfer belts. And this one needs like... Yeah, they basically all need gears, except for this one which needs advanced chip chips. There's some right here. We could just probably... Uh, will this work? No. I need uh, faster belts. Because the faster belts go further. Alright, so we can kind of just have... Kind of just do something like this. And then, uh... Where's my faster inserters? I may not have faster inserters. But that's okay, we'll just grab them like there. Alright, uh... Not too shabby, not too shabby. Easy, easy. Uh, okay, let's get ourselves some, uh... Can I insert transfer belt player's inventory is full? Yeah, because I, I just actually grabbed a bunch of stuff for, uh... So these are going to take a while, by the way. These are going to take an insane amount of time. Uh, but, like, this is why we're just making it now, so we can just leave it be. Let's go use these crappy poles. Oops. We're, this is why I just want to leave it be, because I, 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 I don't even want to deal with this. Yeah, I, I, I can't even fucking take anything right now. Okay, just fucking drop this on the ground. Like, look at all this crap I have. Yeah, I got, like, a lot of stuff because we're gonna be spending... I know, I, I know, as I said, I skipped a lot of stuff uh, that you guys didn't see. Uh, but trust me, as I said, it's like, I'm trying to keep it entertaining by skipping boring stuff. I mean, you saw me do basically an episode of me just basically building the wall up to here. Um... Now, imagine that times, like, five or whatever the fuck episode long length I make, you know, it, that's, that's just, that's what I did. And so, it's, it's a time-consuming game, there's not a lot to say, uh, but it's a fun game. And, and, oh, by the way, I should also mention that, the fact that, yeah, you see me spending hours and hours on this game, but... Keep in mind, this is also Death World Marathon mode, uh, regular game doesn't necessarily take this long to do things. Um, and also, you can just turn biters off, just you know, work on just resources and put the resources up to infinite so you don't have to, like, constantly do things like that, like what I'm doing. Like, that's entirely possible, so, like, the 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 difficulty, if you think this is tedious, you can actually turn off the tedium. Uh, and it's, like, it's completely acceptable. It's, it's not like, it's not like playing the game on easy mode. It's just, like, you know, if you want to, it's like playing Minecraft and, like, I don't know, having, like, 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 do you like the spelunking part of Minecraft? Then you can do, you know, more spelunk. I don't know, fuck. I, there's no base of reference, but... I would not feel shame at all if, if like, if I were, like, you know, I, I just want to play the game and... You know, just enjoy it kind of thing. Oh, and we should also very, very much limit these chests. Okay, so these are gonna work on the me in the meantime. Uh, so we're gonna finish our miners up. So, here's the plan. Oil... Uh, oh yeah, by the way, uranium? So even though this uranium says 900k, you, you can actually see here that uh, there's not enough there's not enough uranium coming through the line actually these days. Uh, this would normally be maybe a problem, but it's actually not because of the fact that we have uh, one, 463 uranium 235. So that is not a small number, but regardless, there's actually no reason not to have another train uh, going to more uranium. Um, so there's two things we could do with this. So. Uh, depending upon where our uranium train is, it's right here. So it has it's not getting that much So usually what I like to do is I like to make a second uranium train And so that one also that one like basically it always guarantees that one uranium train goes to what is essentially the freshest uh, uranium supply so uh, Yeah, so I uh, that's that's well uh, that, now that you're up to speed. It's taking 10 minutes for you to understand what I've done uh, So we've condemned like as I said, I've saved you a shit ton of time uh, from, like, a watching standpoint, so, uh, because, as I said, it was just, like, very, I wouldn't say tedious shit, it's just, like, I, I, I have fun with it, because you're just building blueprints and stuff, but 
it still takes a lot of time to make all these mining outposts and stuff. But now that we have the mining outposts, that means that I don't have to spend any more time not uh, building the, that kind of stuff. I mean, I will have to probably eventually uh, build a couple more, but yeah. Um, so now we get to kind of scale up some stuff. Um, and so, oh yeah, by the way, we have our first green biters. Um, apparently they spawned at evolution factor 0.9. Um, so if we actually look at some of these nests, let me see if I can find one. I've seen, oh, by the way, there was a bug where like, if there was, um, if I, um, a laser turret was replaced by a bot when it got destroyed, it would basically not be destroyable. See, I can't, I, I can't actually mark it for deconstruction and it cannot be mined. They've actually fixed it. But it did not fix the existing entity, so I just uh, I'm just leaving it there. Whatever, the monument to the game's sins of bugs. Uh, oh, there we go. There's one right here. So this guy, this is a behemoth biter. So this is a 3,000 health uh, biter. So the way the resistances work is, I'm pretty sure this is how it works. So when it says physical, it's a, it lowers the physical damage by a flat 12 and then 10%. So if you have like let's say armor piercing rounds, uh, they won't do anything to this biter. Uh, for example, this big biter has eight and ten percent, so it's you know takes a bit less damage. But the important thing to note is this has three thousand health. Uh, the the one that we've been fighting up to now has three hundred seventy five health. Ironically, it has actually not been a big issue uh, at all. Um, like I I basically just cleared them out like anything else. Uh, the Behemoth Spitters have 1,500 health, but we, we can't see any for some reason. Oh, there's one. Yeah, there you go, 1,500 health. Um, that is as big as they get, and as the evolution factor increases a little bit more, there's going to be a bit more. Uh, however, as I said, they're, they're actually not a problem for me. Um, the wall now has both lines of turrets. Um, the way I've worked it out is that this, the, my internal wall has the most pollution, so I add the most amount of turrets. Everything else can just be spaced out. So you can see that there's a little pollution emanating from that from this place. Maybe efficiency moduling it will will help out. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to bother actually. I think the turrets are good enough. I'm not wasting my time with that shit. So that's it for that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head up here. Uh, so we're going to make a couple bases. Probably should just work on the oil base first. I was going to finish this uh, ore base, but I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. Uh, I think oil is more interesting. All right, so we're gonna make our first oil train. So, um, for your convenience, I have made a shit ton of pump jacks, and I don't even know if this is enough actually. But this is just for your convenience. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna place them all here, and we'll just deal with it later. Or sorry, not deal with it later. Deal with it more like now. But all right, this may not be enough pump. I think I have another stack of pump jacks, but. Yeah, 16 more. Okay, I'm gonna need more of these. Um, so I'm not. So th the way the dynamics have worked have changed slightly. Uh, for pump jack, this is a lot of pump jack. Holy shit, fuck! I, I really didn't bring. Okay, you just make the rest of this fucking hell. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, pump jacks. Just a little bit. What the fuck, dude? All right, so we can't do anything else here. So uh, this oil stop will be pretty simple. Uh, so we don't really need much more than what we have here. So we're gonna make an oil stop. Uh, so this will solve our problems forever. Uh, so the best thing to do is actually just eat it, come off this line. Let's uh, come off that line, there we go. So uh, yeah, I've, I, like I said, I've cleared this all out. Oh, by the way, I, I want to also show you something. So, oh, okay, so apparently, no, no, which base is it? Is it this base? Yeah, the, uh, maybe this one? I don't know. No, it's not that one. Where is it? Maybe, uh, I think it was this one? Yeah, right here. Okay, so uh, when the train comes here, um, you'll see actually this is the best example of my, my, uh, my train in the back, like the pushing trains, uh, working out really well. So if you actually look at this, the train actually is on this curve, this bend here, which is like almost impossible to fill things up with. But because of the fact, like, because of the fact it wasn't in the front, because uh, there's actually no more space here for a train to be, like a, a st stop to be any more forward. So because of the fact it worked out like that, you know, you can see some of the, the yeah, they're taking damage, so I have to increase the logistics network out somehow. Anyways, um, 
Yeah, because it's on the bend, it actually, the stuff worked out perfectly, just perfectly. So it was, it was actually a beautiful thing. So we're going to have four carriages here. We're going to just do something like that. All right, so very simple stuff. Let's do something like that. Actually, honestly, I don't even know why I have this one, because if this is like, if this is a block anyways, who cares? So this makes, this makes, so the oil train comes in around and that's it. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. We do want to block this off because we want this, we want this like little intersection to be as few, like, uh, like not in, impacting ever, ever, like the function of the, the network here at all. Uh, it looks like power arm finished, but this requires processing units, which we'll do probably next time. Um, so as for research to do now, um, actually, I'm going to do productivity modules now. I kind of have been holding on to that, but that's fine. All right, so, 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 let's have a look here. Uh, we make a train stop. This is a black train, uh, not because of any reason that you would think. It's uh, just because it's an oil train. Oil is the color black. Uh, there's no negative connotations here, even though I did some bullshit over here. I don't know. All right, so let's hope that... This is enough, uh, this may not be enough. This may not be, uh, this is actually enough. All right. Is that it? Wow, that is actually it. All right, so, uh, let's just make the, uh, oil things for now. So it's gonna be very simple how this is gonna work. So it's just gonna basically probably fill up the middle of each one. So you have to have the pump like right next to each one. I'm gonna just have it be a, a four. I, I, this is probably, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually probably completely overkill. Uh, I don't think I actually need to do this this heavy of a line. And also, here's the problem. Because I, because I made so many of those pump jacks in my inventory, I actually don't have much pipes left, but luckily we did have an abundance of uh, other resources here, so it's fine. Okay. Okay, so there we go. I even have, like, a bunch of fluid wagons. So I, I figure I'll make my oil trains four long, and we'll just have one. I don't think we need more than that. Um, so we'll just do something like that. Oops. Uh, so I'm not sure how else to do any of this, but yeah. Luckily we have plenty of these underground pipes. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna have to sort out something with this. Whoops. And it's all gonna have to be powered and all that, so. I wasn't gonna leave out all of the stuff that of me building stuff, but yeah, I figured that making a new oil field was kind of new enough that we can we can all watch that together. So it's it's this is the one thing about making an LP of this game that I was, was sure about is like how much to leave in of me getting resources and stuff. And uh, I, I hope it's been adequate. Um, like I said, I, 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 even if I, when I finish this run, I actually wouldn't mind coming back to the game if I find some other interesting scenarios to do. Or, you know, always, always can take viewer suggestions or whatever of, thing, of interesting things to do. Because, I mean, I, there's a lot of people who play this game and they do like, oh, hey, here's a, uh, here's a real world scenario or something. And then they, they just kind of play through the game like that. Um... But I'm not really like that, so... I mean, I, well, I've, I've played a bit of, like, like doing, like, a real world that, like, you know... Kind of, like, I don't have to really care too much about, like, of no biters or anything. But, like, uh... I don't know, I always come back to something like this. I don't know why. I think I'm... I think I just like pain. It's why I, it's why I basically said, I, I hope that the developers come up with some more interesting scenarios. Um... And I'm not just talking about, like, they added they added some stuff to the game where you can actually make your own kind of maps. And, like, uh, like kind of like that. I, I, I wasn't meaning that. I, I don't think that really counts. Um, I, I was hoping more that they would, along the lines of, they would do something like, uh, you know, like, like kind of like this this whole Death World scenario, you know. Like, it's it's hard, it's hard, you know, to, to come up. Because I'm not, a, here's the thing, I'm not a games developer. You know, all I know is that I really like the things like this, like this desert death world. I think it's fucking fun as shit. 
Uh, it's challenging, it's fun, you know, it's got everything. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, as I said, I, I, it's not, I don't expect it to be everybody's cup of tea. Uh, in terms of like difficulty, but I, I hope that they would add more things like that. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this go over here. And we're gonna connect to that. Alright, I just wanna make sure it's all interconnected, and then we're gonna fill up those uh, pipes there. And then we're gonna power it too, so don't worry. Do not worry. Uh, we'll just go up here. That's why I had so many pipes, but I think this is enough anyway, so we're all good. Maybe it's actually not. It, it may actually not be. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, this is now going to come all the way over here. That way there's like two places where it's connected to the pipes, and so I'm hoping that the fluids will just kind of, you know, work out. But it may not. Oops. How many do I have left? Ah, right, well, we still have plenty of pipes, actually. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Does this go... this goes over here. Actually, does it go all the way? Yeah, it does go all the way. Yeah, boy. Alright. Uh, this looks sort of connected. I do want to make sure it's connected over here too, though. Oops. Alright, there's not a lot of room to walk in between these, but I think they're all connected and working. So, alright, so now what we do, we start powering literally everything. So, luckily we have the power grid just kind of like over here, casually. Should I do the crappy poles? No, I don't have that many of those. I don't know why I keep trying to use them, I just like, I, I kind of like, I, I, I hate them sitting in my inventory, most of the time I just put them in my car and then, and then just look at them. Oh, that doesn't work. So it's now pumping oil, this is fresh oil. So I don't think I'm going to remove the coal liquefaction stuff that I made, I, I don't see a reason to. Yeah, this one's connected too. Oops. It's not powered. It's hard to see at night if uh, the, the, I mean the copper cable is just hard to see in general. It's a problem. Alright. I, I keep assuming that's close enough, but I, I'm always like one short. Uh, this one is not connected. Okay, we found one that it wasn't connected. Actually, I'll just connect it like here. There we go. So this is a lot of crude oil. A lot of crude oil. So by the way, if one isn't connected, it's not a big deal. This is a lot of crude oil to begin with anyways. Uh, we're the easiest way to see if one isn't animating right now. Yeah. Oh, well, they all look okay. Alright, I think they're all moving. I think they're all good. Okay. Alright. So, let's go and... Power these suckers, too. Does that really not work? Well, we could use a substation. That really doesn't work either, so I guess fuck it. There we go, now we'll use the crappy ones. There we go. Nobody tells my cloud what to do. Alright, there you go, so that's it for that. Where's my car? Car is right there. Let's go get some uh, some fuel from here. And we're gonna get one of our our oil train going. The oil train is pretty easy. Just make, I just want to make sure that uh, the blocks work correctly. Okay, they seem to work correctly. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. One, two... I actually don't want this to be kind of filling up right now, so we're going to just back up this train slightly. 
Now, I, I shouldn't have more than one uh, oil trained up here, because as you can see, it doesn't exactly fill up these storage tanks right away. I've been here forever, and it's been like, whatever. And the other thing is, it's not going to use the crude oil down here immediately either. So, I, I usually don't make more than one crude, crude oil train, so... All right, my friend, you're going to go to oil one until in activity five or time past 30. Because here's the thing. Um, I don't think inventory full counts for this kind of train. Because I think that refers to cargo trains. You could do fluid count, but I, I guess... What is it? Like 25 times... I guess it's 100k with this kind of train of oil or fluid whoops did i not do that or crude oil is whoops or crude oil is equal to or greater than 100k i guess does that work i don't i don't fucking know we'll just do we'll just add the inactivity thing just in case all right here it goes and now it's pumping it in. You'll actually see, like, look how look how fast it pumps it in. Look at that. Look at that shit. There you go. And now these now these things are completely empty. This is why we do not need more than one train, because that's also how fast it unloads it as well. Uh, it's pretty crazy. So we can do that, or we can make another uranium train right now. Uh, I, I'm kind of I'm on the side of maybe making a uranium train, honestly. Uh, I'm trying to bait. So, oh yeah, so basically, there's nothing really wrong with uh, this uranium patch, it's just slowed down, so there's not as much coming in. Most of these are empty, or not functioning, uh, and it would be because I didn't actually, I removed some of the miners, which also were connected to sulfuric acid, so I'm a fucking moron. Maybe we'll just go fix that real quick, actually, and then we'll make the oil stop. So, unfortunately, uh, me going and saying things like, I'm gonna go down there and fix it, is actually like a two minute drive, so until I get like some fucking nuclear reactor shit going here into my car. Um, yeah. I mean, you can ride the trains though, uh, mind you. But I don't have a stop for that oil one to go to. I mean, I, I can also put down a train on the track and then go, but... Uh, I mean, I don't know. Am I good enough to avoid a collision? No. I mean, it does the block system, but who knows. I mean, I, I just prefer to drive everywhere. What, what else do we have the car for? So we have miners. Um, like I said, I'll finish off the, the iron ore one uh, in a little bit. Uh, whatever else. Okay, so I was wondering why the I'm, I was wondering why the sulfuric acid slowed down. Makes sense. Like I said, there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of everything there. All right, let's see how the blue belts are doing. Actually, you know, now that we're here. Let's actually have a look. So this says now has 50 of these, 64 of these, and 32 express splitters. So not too bad. Um, and when we come back, it should be even more than that. So uh, that should be pretty good. All right, so yeah, I've been removing miners, right? This whole time. Um, so the thing I didn't realize is that I, I actually disconnected a bunch of these uh, by accident. Because they actually have stuff in there. That's why it's been working less. Yeah, see, these ones are done. See, these three are done, and so when I disconnect them, the entire line stops functioning. But I can just do that. So I have to... I have to actually watch that. So, I, I, that was me. I was being stupid. My bad. But it doesn't... It Still, it, I mean, I, I, I can add another sulfuric acid train. I just wanted to improve, fix that one up. How much, uh, how much sulfuric acid is, is in that one? This one, that did, did it really run out of sulfuric acid? What the fuck? Well, I mean, we have plenty of sulfuric acid actually around, so... Did it maybe... Did I... Okay, I've been changing these stops, and that would be why. Fuck. What did I do here? Yeah, it's like 99. There must be something wrong with that pipe. It must have had something else in there. It's the only thing I can think of. All right, so for some unknown reason, the sulfuric st uh, acid stopped uh, going to the train. So let's um, okay. That that would also explain why that happened. So let me put that one on manual. Oh man, 
Now, there is some dynamics related to, like, pumps and stuff, but yeah, so uh, these are some problems I've apparently created for myself that I did not fix earlier, so whatever. Now, I'm not sure what the deal with this is. So, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Why does it not... It's a fucking wrong kind of pipe. Oh my god, it was it was an underground pipe that I had there. Because here's the thing, I extended this upward, because I wanted to make sure there was enough room for my trains. And there you go. Uh, is it going in now? And apparently it's not even going in. What the fuck is wrong with me? When did this happen? Oh wait, no no no, it's, it was actually fine. Alright, one sec, I need to back this up. Oh, no, fuck. Sorry, I need to back it up. Okay, go to nuke. Then be, then be manual. Alright. It actually worked fine, it was just, just starting to pull out when I told it not to do that anymore. Alright, let's just let it fill up this with sulfuric acid. Um, which is not great, because uh, maybe I need to have another bonus thing here. Actually, no, it's in the pipes, actually. I forgot. There's a bunch being stored in the pipes. Alright. Uh, I'll put it back on automatic. So, yeah, that's kind of a problem, because that's our nuclear fuel that was, uh... I mean, honestly, like I said, we're not running out of uranium-235 anytime soon, so this will last us for a while. Alright, so now we're good. Alright, much better. Much, mucho gracias better. Alright, uh, so... The next thing here... Yeah, this is our... Our refueling train. So now we need to do something here. Oops. So this is gonna be the oil stop. Fuck. Oh. It's because I kind of extended that one. Alright, so first things first, we need to block these off because reasons. So, uh, how many storage tanks do I have left? None. Excellent. It's the number I like. Okay, we need storage tanks for crude oil. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's the first thing. Fuck. How do we get there? Like, we do have an abundance of resources right now. It's actually very nice, though. So, that's kind of good. But, like, we need to bring in more, obviously, so... It's just kind of the way it goes. Alright. Uh, I think four is a good number, because we have four carriages with uh, crude oil in them, so we need four to unload them as well. And obviously it's going to be a pumped in, because it's going to be a one-way one trip as well. How many pumps do I have? Two, so I need to make... Okay, i got to engineer it, so that's fine. We'll make a couple of these. Alright, so... Make another stop, like right here. Why did I do it like this anyways? Who the fuck even knows? Uh, one, two... Oh no, what? Oh, it's a small train, that's why. Oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, this is actually was meant to be the original size. Oh, I see why I did that. Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, every every day I learned something I did about, you know, eight hours ago. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, it's gonna be very simple. Just uh, gonna unload the trains. Maybe like, right like this. Maybe like that. Uh, we kind of go like here and then here. Okay, that means that this one needs to be a bit further back. So we put them directly into the oil containers uh, for the sole reason that uh, it's the fastest unload possible that you can do with that. Um, it doesn't have to do anything funky. Alright, there you go. That's for crude oil. Remember, you can't filter these out or anything strange like that. You gotta just kind of have to put up with whatever whatever you have to deal with. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, this... What the fuck died? Well, it looks like they actually are attacking here. Wait, I didn't even have anything here. So a wall got destroyed. And also this is a problem now, so we're gonna have to go up there right after we're done with this train. So luckily we have that. This is why we have two walls. Uh, I mean three would be better, maybe, I don't know. Alright, so now it goes to oil. It goes to oil. Uh, until fluid count is zero. 
Kudo is zero, or time passed. Go 20. Yeah, or an activity, five seconds, okay. So that's how we do that. Uh, so that's how we load up this full of crude oil. Uh, we're going to do something like just go down here. Where the sulfuric acid is being loaded up. But I want to I wanted to see this thing unload. You'll see how, how fast it'll unload. Uh, well, it is going, I think, the long round or... Where the fuck is it even? Oh god, is it here? No. Oh here. Is it coming in now? No. There he is. That's the oil train. So there you go. Crude oil. It's coming over. And this is why the pumps work really well here. Alright, so it's coming in. Alright, watch these storage tanks. Fucking Boom, done. He's gone. That's that's a shit ton of oil right there. That's why you only need one train for that. It's it's actually crazy. Uh fuck. Okay. Well, apparently I may have underestimated how many of these things I need, so Whatever. So we added a lot of uh, uh, train related stuff here. So here's what we're gonna do. The crude oil is, where is it loading in? Right here, okay. So it's not to say we're not gonna ever use this right here, but I'm gonna do this. Uh, we also need to add a one-way pump actually for this guy. There you go. We now have a crap ton of uh, crude oil going to there. We also have to make sure it's going one way down, because uh, if it, er, we don't want backflow into the storage containers, uh, because we're trying. It's trying to unload. It's not trying to load anything. It's, it'd be silly any other way. So let me go do this. Something a little bit weird. There you go. Okay. So this prevents the backflow. That way it's always pumping out of the containers and then, hey, look at this. He just came back with fucking more. So that's it, like, this is done. So if I wanted to disconnect these containers, I would just disconnect the coal, but I don't know. We'll just keep it the way it is, a little coal liquefaction. I don't know if I should disconnect it because then at some point I'm gonna have to worry about this coal running out, which is now. So maybe, maybe I will disconnect it. I, I, I like, I guess we just prefer to use the other uh, regular stuff, but yeah. Fuck you. Or maybe, maybe, maybe for uh, smartness sake. So there is actually a container here full of crude oil, right? So it actually, it is actually filling up slowly. So this is what, this is what we can do. This is, a, this is actually a really smart idea, actually. So just so I don't have to ever deal with it myself. Let's say, uh, where is it? This is why I love this game, man. Fucking love this game. All right, so we're gonna go hook up the storage container to this guy. We're gonna say enable disable if uh, crude oil is less than, let's say 1K. So this is now off. Uh, so if I, actually, if I actually eat this up, look at that. No more, the, no more coming through. So I am essentially cutting off the fuel supply for these guys, uh, so they're not gonna work. I mean, the other thing you could do is you can like cut off like the heavy oil or something. That, but I guess the coal is like better to do, in my opinion. Now, now this kind of bothers me. So it's interesting how it automatically prefers to actually take things from this one, other than rather than the coal liquefaction process. Because I'm actually looking at this, and the the coal isn't moving anyways. So you know, whatever. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of neato. So. Uh, wow, it's already been like almost 40 minutes, but I mean we've accomplished something which is like making a nice stop for oil, uh, which is good. Um, whoops. I would really like to get to high-tech science, maybe 
soon ish um, let's have a look at how many blue belts have been made 170 okay they're still coming what does this need gears what the fuck? oh no it already has 50 that's why so it's still making the blue belts when the blue belts are done then i think we're good to go in terms of we're gonna we're gonna upgrade our furnaces like drastically in fact in fact you know what i'm gonna do uh this needs so much of an upgrade that i'm gonna actually tell it to not limit the chest really maybe like maybe like that much like i'm actually not joking i actually need that much but it requires so many gears that it's like insane but yeah I mean, gears are still sort of an issue, and if I was smart, what I'd do is I'd, I would actually priority split them to the the left, but then again, I would get nothing for my other shit, so I don't think I really need science that badly. But this is part of the reason why we tapped into more iron, and the fact that we actually see iron trains waiting here is fan-fucking-tastic. It means that I can just tap into it, and then, like, I can just make some more furnaces, and then we're done. Like, uh, I'm, then I'm gonna have enough resources to do everything, so... Uh, and then we live happily ever after. So we're heading back up to... Yeah, we're heading back up. Just making sure that I have everything I need. Uh, we're going to make another sulfuric stop. Um, like I said, the copper in the big patch that you see there is already done. I just didn't want to have any trains. Like, I would have like two trains going to and from it. But the problem is I have too many trains working as it is on copper. So they would be just be waiting at the stop. But... I mean, it's not necessarily a negative thing, but you know, it's still good. So we're just we're leaving this be. It's not been working right now, but uh, we'll probably have one going very soon. That's why I made. That's why, by the way, I made a bunch more uh, waiting stations because if that ever fills up, when there's like a backline of resources, then like it's like then we lost. So basically, just lost. All right. So let's go get sulfuric trains going, or one sulfuric train. So I made like a bunch of trains here, but yeah. All right, so I know I'm walking here, but uh, actually I probably shouldn't have walked. Why the fuck am I walking here? All right, so it just, it's very simple. It just needs to have, well, one, one side needs to be the train coming back. So this is the coming back route. There you go. This way, this way it doesn't interfere with the coal either. So that's also really nice. Uh, there's quite actually there. There's enough. There's enough room for this to kind of just stop right here. I think. Maybe. Okay, maybe maybe there really isn't actually. Okay, let's let's undo that then. We'll just have we'll just have it somewhere in the middle here. Fuck it. So it just it just needs to be a loop. Like that's that's all it's really needed. Um, like as I said, if I ever tap into that coal, it's fine. All right, so there you go. That's all good. Make some more of these things. Make sure that these have their own like little areas. Uh, there you go. Just so they don't stop in the middle here for no reason. Uh, there you go. It all works out. Hopefully this will never be an issue. All right, so that's all good. Now to decide where the train stop will even be. I'll make more things in, in, a, bit, in a bit. So I think I have the the or configuration, the, those configurations of those trains. I think I have like the, yeah, I have it, the carriage, the fluid wagon, and then the two carriages. So it's gonna look something like this. And fluid wagon. We, we, yes, we are making another train for ore. Uh, I mean, I might as well, because it's like, as I said, even if it doesn't use it, it's waiting anyways. It doesn't matter, so. All right, so the last thing is where to put the actual train. Is that, is it either there or here? I mean, neither, neither one really makes a huge difference, so we'll just put it here. All right. So I will come here. I will make this nuke two. I uh, will give it the same color. Actually, I'll even give it the same order. So where's the train? So you can copy and paste from anywhere in the map. All right. Uh, so this one goes to nuke one. I, I don't know how to rename things in this game, if it's even possible. Um, 
Our time passed. 120. So having having two trains for nukes is actually pretty good, so it works out. Um you go to nuke two first. There we go. Now we've configured it accordingly. Uh, so now I need to make, put my blueprint down. It's like this. I just delete this crap. All right. Easy peasy. There you go. That works out. And we have a pump. Do I not have a pump? No, I don't, but we can make one because we have plenty of materials for that. All right, so pump comes out here. Once again, we're gonna need more pumping related stuff. All right. Yeah, we're also running out of pipes and stuff as well. We may need more of those, whoops. Oh, shit, I made a slip station instead. Oh, well. All right, so once again, very simple. Like I said, I've been actually cutting out most of me making the mining bases, so, uh, you know. I, I, I'm trying to find a good balance between, like, me just doing things in the background, like spending a couple hours doing stuff and, you know, other things like that, so. And then I, I'm, I'm, I'm working with it as I go. Hopefully it's a nice balance. Hopefully you guys come in every time and you're, you know, you're looking forward to it and you're like, oh shit, Mike has all this shit here. But you can kind of see the reason why I don't just leave every single thing in. Okay, this is good. Uh, here's the thing. Do we want it to just... I don't even know. What did? How did I do it here? Let me just remove the pollution because we don't care. Uh, I, actually, this is just like a bunch of yellow belts. Fuck. Actually, you know what? We're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to make it go onto one red belt. That's how we're gonna do this. Uh, it's like this. Oh. Okay, I don't know why I have it like that. Okay, so this works out really nicely. Uh, let's get this guy over here. Unfortunately, what this means over time, I have to connect these pipes. I have to be careful when I'm retiring these because they're connected and, oh, it's also connected to light oil. I mean, it won't, oh, it actually does have light oil in there. What the fuck? All right, we fucking lost. All right, we gotta, we gotta tear this all up and I'm not even gonna show you this because uh, I think I've, it's a waste of time just to remake this all again. Oh god, I even put light oil on this, it's fucking ruined. Oh my god. Alright, I didn't even realize that they would actually accept that. Even to begin with. Alright, I just made it again. I sent the train out to go get sulfuric acid. Is it coming back? I don't know, who cares. Um, so, there should only ever be one train. Uh, working this, but just in case I decide to be dumb, I'll just make a couple of signals here. You know, the signals are cheap, so, you know, might as well. So we don't need that many. Uh, so the train should be back any second now to fill up our train, and we'll see the fruits of our labor. This can just be regular belts. So, where is it coming back? It is a very long distance though, by the way. All right, it is filling up. So it has nothing in there, but it is filling up with sulfuric acid. It Oh, it's also filling up with fuel, motherfucker. All right, let's see how the sulfuric acid is doing. All right, it's about 12K, but then again, it's been filling two storage tanks up. So making a couple more storage tanks here full of sulfuric acid would actually not be the worst thing in the world uh, for me. So let's just keep that in mind. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll tell him to not stop that. Uh, maybe I'll tell him to come over now, because he's just filling up full of fuel. Yeah, just just come back. I'll I'll give him any fuel he wants. Like I have I have some in here. I'm mostly walls though. Actually, the two can go here. Is there any more that I have? Though? No, this is all the fuel I have now. 
So, okay, it's not so bad. But we do need sulfuric acid. So you gotta watch out for those light oil things. I don't think light oil is gonna do much, do us much good for uh, this kind of stuff. All right, and here he comes. He's on his merry way. He takes a takes a thing up the fork. Comes in here. Is now unfueling his uh, sulfuric acid cargo. It's filling up everything here. How much sulfuric acid does this entire network use right now? Wow, that's a lot actually. Like I said, it, it, it will just make more at base. But yeah, it used about 15k. Like I said, it used to work with barrels, but now it doesn't. But yeah, here we go. It begins. So there isn't a lot here, but... and But this is why we just have one train doing it. Because while this train is gone and unloading its cargo, it will just fill out these chests again. So this is, this is kind of like why throughput matters. So I think the only other thing I was going to do is I was going to... Fix this line. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna destroy this base. This base is uh, has uh, taunted me for long enough. So now it's very hazardous to drive on this railway now nowadays. But that's fine. All right. So let's go kill that, and then yeah, I mean these guys are fine because they just spawned too close to the base, and so they've been hammering that that base for a little while. So. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do in terms of logistics bots. Um, I'll see how much it gets hit. The main wall was getting hit pretty hard, but nowadays it actually really doesn't get hit that hard. Uh, I mean, the only problem, is, like I have a train set up for it, but it, it takes like it takes a good ten minutes to set up a good logistics network, especially if I'm going to do these uh, highway lines. And I was actually thinking of not doing the highway lines at all. Uh, I think the defense they have is good enough. I never see the wounded, but like something like this, because this is actually a source of pollution, so. Uh, something like this is maybe actually a big deal. So I have 50 turrets with me right now. Am I missing anything for... This is this was the place, right? Or was it here? Yeah, this was the place. I guess I... Did I, I had walls on me, maybe. No. What? How did the wall get replaced? Or is it over here? Oh, it is over here. Whoopsies. Alright, we'll go... Yeah, actually, I don't need to deal with this. And also, the train just wants to murder me. Yeah, here we go. Look at this. So, remember what I was saying earlier? How the train... So, because it's at the back... Uh, it... It basically kind of... It doesn't impede the stop here at all, which is amazing. So, I like that. It's very nice. A uh, very, very good way of doing it. I'm very proud of myself for that. And see, they occasionally attack, but yeah, everything's like really not really all that wounded anymore. And there's the, there goes the stone train. The new stone train. Oh. Apparently everything's being gang hammered here. Oh, what the fuck? They really have, actually. Alright, so this is, I guess, the one exception is right here. Yeah, they're doing little mini attacks here, so maybe I do need to make one here. What the fuck? Yeah, look at that, man. You can see that they actually still have cargo in them, and the reason they still have cargo in them is because they didn't actually offload anything. Which is pretty good for me. Alright, let's go deal with this, like I said I was going to do earlier. How did that get- oh, it, it was a stop action I didn't put down. I don't remember now, I ghosted that. I'm sorry, I not stop uh, um, signal, so. Oh, once again, coal here, again, so that's, that's kind of good. Wait, we're, uh, we're actually here to murder them. Apparently this is the time they decide to attack. So you can actually see that there's two behemoths apart of this. Let's see what they do. That's all they do. Okay, these bots like suicide, so... So luckily, um... Luckily, it, there's actually no problems with it, like, kind of coming in where the way it is, but... Uh, let's see here. Combat loadout. Okay, let's just come over here and let them die. See, they, they actually die because they have no resistance to the lasers, they have no resistance to flamethrowers, so... I remember someone was telling me they thought that, that this shit was overpowered with regards to... Uh... So we're going to destroy this base. Oh shit. Okay, I actually have to use the, my, my things this time. Actually, geez, my fish. So it got destroyed. Oh no, bot. Rest in pieces. Is that it? Ah, there's one more thing down there. 
See, they'd still die. Like, it's it's still fine. Alright, we're good. I should handle this base. It sucks not having night vision ever, but hopefully we're gonna fix that with some high-tech science. Alright. So, agenda. Agenda for next time. Um, so, I, I realize that I have to do a couple things, still. Um, so... Uh, we're gonna make the furnace layouts as a team. Um, so what we're gonna do, what we're gonna have here is, so this thing is just filling full of belts, which is good, because that's gonna be required for the, it should be a little bit more full by the time I come back, because here's what we're gonna do. This stop is perfectly done. We've made these two stops in this episode, and these are now done. They're just, they're working, I can just leave them be. As I said, luckily, I, I, because of, as I say, because the way trains work, um, I, it's plug and play. You know, you just make the rail lines coming all the way up, uh, you make the trains in roughly the same layout and whatever, so it's fine. We need to look at our sulfuric acid. Yeah, we got max full sulfuric acid basically, so it filled it up immediately. It's all good. Wonder if, uh, wonder if the, yeah, look at the belt. The belt is done. But it's fine because we have crude oil, so we don't care. Yep. So it's not gonna do oil, uh, it's not gonna do, uh, coal liquefaction. While we have crude oil, which is, I think, what we want anyways. I don't think we want it any other way. Uh, so we set it up actually very nicely so it doesn't do that. Uh, and so petroleum, light oil. Apparently we may need more uh, oil refineries working on stuff, though. Because it looks like they, uh, yeah, it looks like that now that we've upped our oil processing, we're going to have to add more. But anyway, sorry, I'm, I'm ranting. So I'm going to basically work on, I'm going to finish up this stop. Not gonna have any trains run to it yet. Uh, I mean, there's just a bit more for me to do, a bit more miners to place down. Uh, so we're gonna do that, uh, and then productivity module three will finish, uh, which we'll see what that is, but we're gonna work on A, components next time, and B, I think we're gonna try and go shoot for high-tech science. Uh, oh yeah, uh, uh, sorry, I think it's gonna be more like components and uh, something else. Wow, this space sucks. Maybe I really should add some stuff here. But I'm really fucking lazy. Fuck. Alright, I think I'm gonna actually add a stop here for <laughs> for the bots to do the thing. Except I don't know how I'm gonna do that here. There's like no stops for my thing here. Alright, we lost. Actually, no, we haven't. It's actually gonna be easy. Alright, so, um, take care. I'm gonna add some bots here and stuff like that, so bye.